We open you to a world of greatness, the world of real estate which thrives on simplicity, determination and trust. Welcome to Urithi Housing Cooperative Society, your real estate investment vehicle of choice. As goodness attracts goodness, so has Urithi Housing Cooperative Society attracted thousands of investors who may not really have the means of investing, but have the sheer will of taking small steps to own homes or pieces of land. Urithi Housing Cooperative Society is a registered, professionally run organization with a goal of assisting its members own property. Urithi Housing is a cooperative society that, that is a home for over 24,000 members. Urithi is a Swahili name for inheritance and it is an organization that mitigates the needs that every citizen has insofar as acquisition of land and property is concerned. The number continues to grow in leaps and bounds over the years due to innovative products which the organization has continued to churn over the years. The Owner Room Project is one of the hallmark of achievements of Rithi Housing Cooperative Society. These bed sitters situated in Juja, Kiambu County gave young people like Titus Nganga and his wife Grace Wairimu a chance to venture into real estate. From being tenants, the young couple now prides itself in being home owners and the sky can only be the limit. I got this book in the Gazette and I got this book here in Juja. I got this project and I got this book. Na wakaniambia mtu huanga anapelekwa pole pole. Nilipe deposit, hii nyingine utakuwa unalipa kila mwisho wa mwezi ile kitu unapata paka umalisie ile pesa mliaidiana. Na wapeleki mtu mbio. The moment niliona the project, I was happy and I was proud of it because niliona the child tukipata huyo mtoto atakuwa na kitu ataweza kuun. As a woman I know it's something happy to see. You have mkona urithienyu mahali. Yeah, una feel proud because unaona mtoto hata safa. Unaona akona kitu ameachiwa. As an organization, uh, we've always endeavored to provide affordable housing and settlement solutions. And when I talk about affordable, I don't necessarily mean cheap, but I mean uh, depending on the level at which a person is in and their economic abilities, we are able to meet their need at that point. It is important to belong to an organization like Urithi by helping you pay in a way that is accommodative to you, that we negotiate your payment plan and we also work with you from the initialization of the engagement to the end of it when you get that very precious document called title deed or the house. The initial price for the houses was 450,000 shillings, but now one bed sitter is going for 850,000 shillings. The other project that has thrust Urithi in the limelight is the Nyumbamia housing project. The organization came up with three bedroom houses in a gated community setup in different towns like Rongai in Kajiado County, Lanet in Nakuru County, Juja and Gatwanyaga in Kiambu County, and in Mombasa County. This is one of the projects that we do we are doing here in uh, Kajiado County. We call it uh, Uridi Housing, Nyumbamia Rongai. Our members are uh, appreciating the progress that we have been able to do, especially because uh, realistically this is a very affordable project for them. And uh, for 4.2 million, you, are, you will find that this is value for money because 
when you engage yourself in such a project, we are able to give them a period of payment in installment and we are able to give them a house. Most of the houses are already in their final stage of construction, but the organization has already completed the construction of houses in Gatwa Nyaga and handed over the houses to the owners. Grace Njiru is among the people who are given keys to their homes after the completion of the project. Grace was full of praise for an organization that has made her dream become a reality. Siku ya leo niko na furaha sana kwa sababu nimeweza kumiliki nyumba na imekuwa siku ya furaha na nafurahia kuwa hapa leo. Kusema ukweli ni kwa uwezo wa Mungu pia nimetembea na urithi kwa hii uh, safari kuanzia wakati ule niliweza kuona hizi nyumba na nikaja ni kuamua kwamba ningependa kununua nyumba na urithi sio lazima mtu alipie nyumba mara moja unaweza alipa pole pole tumeona urithi kweli wanajengea watu manyumba na watu leo wamepata manyumba yao hiyo ni kuonyesha kwa hakika kunao wenye wanaweza ku deliver these projects so i would recommend any, anyone to come to urithi see what they have done and make a decision to own a home she now has neighbors like the family of Francis Wanjohi Karioki, who was also able to finally give his family a permanent roof over their heads in the same estate. We don't have what we call balloting. Balloting has been misused by most cooperatives because that is where a lot of bad things, corruption and otherwise happens. In Uridhi, it is first come, first served. You go and select where you want and you get whatever you came to buy. So in that case, there isn't a lot of people benefiting unfairly because of their relationships or their proximity to the leadership that be. We understand the need of our members. We take time to study the need of the members. That is at each and every point in time, what is it that the member needs? And when you look at our industry and the nature of organization, uh, we target members from different walks of life, from uh, different economic backgrounds and economic abilities. So that means in our products and whatever we come up with, we must ask our member, our, ourselves, what does the member need according to one, his status in life, his stage in life, his economic activities or his economic abilities, then we come up with a product that reflects and that meets the need of the member at that particular point in time. The growth of Urithi and opening of more branches has been a welcome move by residents of the different counties. The entry of Urithi housing in Mombasa County has been seen as a game changer in the county and a welcome move for both clans and the leadership of cooperative movement. They came to Mombasa at a time when uh, the real estate in Mombasa was not very vibrant. And I would dare say that there was not even very strong housing cooperative that was doing very well in this area. And so the coming of Uridi to Mombasa was timely and even the identification of the needs within that county was timely. We've seen cooperative societies that are over 40 years old coming to benchmark with us because they have seen that this is not just a cooperative doing business, but doing business in a way that has never been done in our country. They have been a pace setter. We have noted that Urizi Housing Cooperative has grown in terms of membership and in terms of turnovers and has attracted uh, very potential members in the, in the county. And uh, we noted that last year during the education forum for Urizi, the turnout was tremendous and they had a lot of support from the citizens of Mombasa. From a government perspective, I am proud of Urizi. I am also a beneficiary of uh, who Urizi is. I'm a customer of Urithi. And for me to choose Urithi, you would agree that I have very many options. And I settled on Urithi, one, because of the assurance that my investment is safe. Two, is because of the location. They are very good at it, identifying the growth path. 
And so I was able to find that that is the ideal kind of an investment that I would want. And then three is the flexibility in terms of uh, payment. In Uridi, we offer uh, not only customer care, but customer experience. Customer experience is where you live with an impression of, I was taken care of. And what we have done is we have set aside a good number of people who are not actually selling, they're not doing anything else, but they're taking care of our customers. Because what we want is at every beck and call, Uridi is there for anyone. Uh, if you have an issue, we have a separate call center number that anytime you call, it will be picked and your question will be answered. In Nakuru County, the organization has diversified in its investment and is now coming up with the Hilltop Resort, which is a hotel project and members have been given a chance to own cottages. The project is underway. We have three major projects in Nakuru, that is uh, Imperial Homes, phase one and two, Lanet Homes and uh, Hilltop Resort Cottage. The Hilltop Resort Cottage is up, uh, 18 kilometers from Nakuru town, uh, along the Nakuru Dondori road. The, the hotel has a panoramic view of the, of the city, that's Nakuru, Nakuru town, and you can see the lake from there. Uh, the area itself is sloppy, so it allows you to have a very beautiful view in the morning and in the evenings. We are also going to see members have at least a week of holidays in the, in the same area. We have uh, the second project, that's Lanet Homes. We have three bedroom bungalows sitting on 50 by 100. That means you have ample parking spaces outside and also uh, ample space to have uh, manicured gardens. We are giving members uh, the advantage of choosing the kind of finishing that they would want. Why are we doing this? We want the members to customize their homes to be able to fit their personalities. We realized different members would want different uh, finishing and we don't want to give them a common finishing. So we facilitate them to have that kind of finishing at the end of the day. In a bid to accommodate everyone, Urithi has also come up with very affordable pieces of land like the Marareni land project in Malindi County. The land is fertile for farming and buyers are able to buy at a very affordable price, mostly for speculation. This process is very difficult to do because if you are a farmer, 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 upate consent. Upate hivyo vitu vyote uriti inatengeneza. Na ikitengeneza inakupatia kitu ambacho yuko sawa tayari. I'm a new member. It's the first time that I have thought of investing in land. I normally invest in properties. I've never done farming to this scale. I just do the indoor things like tomatoes and garlic and things in the house and probably do stuff. But this is quite large so I'm up for the challenge. I was able to acquire five acres, which is a good thing because we were informed that this is a place they can do agribusiness and it's value for money. And I believe that with the agribusiness uh, brought in, I'm able to recoup my money after a short time. In the next 15 years, anyone with anything like one acre and above will definitely be a leader because he will be the obvious option of giving food to ever increasing uh, settlements in our country, in towns. That is why we call people to go to areas like Malindi where land is available. Other areas that people either to used to consider as uh, distant that you can go and grow crops there, no matter the distance, the geographical location, and still benefit staying wherever you stay because food security will be the next big thing. The organization also makes investment easy for its members by providing loans to members through its sister organization, the Urithi Premier Sako, 
which has branches across the country. The member is able to acquire the loan cheaply in a speedy manner and the circle has really boosted their ability and the speed of acquiring the property. And so uh, as a product and as a sister company or a sister cooperative with Urivi Housing, we have been able to manage and achieve the best for our members. Urivi Premier Circle is our sister company that gives loan to our members who are not able to afford uh, to pay in cash or who may not want to go to the other alternative uh, financing options like the bank but would want to have a subsidized loan. They can buy land from the housing and get financed from the circle thereby paying very very minimal rates of 6.5 percent per year. Besides selling properties, Urithi also plays its part in CSR activities. The leadership of Urithi is made up of men and women who are elected every year at the annual general meeting through the popular vote giving all shareholders an opportunity to decide the destiny of the organization. The board members have been very, very, very supportive and I appreciate their support. We have done like uh, 135 projects, of which from the 90th project I was involved and I have seen a lot of support from them. For us to go to the next level, we must support the organization as the board and we must give all our effort towards achieving our goals as an organization. And to serve its clients better, the organization has the Urithi Corporate Center where the governing body operates, giving ample space for other managers to operate from the various branches. The organization also endeavors to build the capacity of its staff through regular training, seminars, and team building sessions. <laughs> and with that, Urithi continues to play its part in helping people acquire property and also enable the country move in the right direction in its quest to achieve the Vision 2030. Kujipanga ni kitu muhimu. Juu sasa mimi kama mtoto wangu sasa ako na ile kitu ataridhi kutoka kwangu. I leave you with this one word. A quote from Mark Twain and he said, "Buy land for they are no longer manufacturing it." We do not only promise but deliver what we promise. Urithi is surely the place to be in. Urithi Housing Cooperative Society. Buy and wait. Don't wait and buy. Who is Shaheed?